Now, as I said before, you get further back in time and the things that tell you it's a member of the human family become more subtle, like these canine teeth, for example. Uh, uh, the bipedality is, is another one. But, you know, there's, you know, a great deal of skepticism in the field about, you know, there, there's people who, who, uh, who I talk to who will tell you, who, who doubt that any of these early species that have been identified as hominins or early members of the human family, they, they doubt that any of them really are, or, or that it's just unknowable. What happens when a quantum computer, a machine built to untangle the universe, is pointed at the DNA of a being that shouldn't exist? Yes, a quantum computer just ran the DNA of a skeleton so ancient, so untouched by time, that the results sent the lab into lockdown. It wasn't human. Discovered in an unexcavated cave system, age, older than any Homo sapiens in the region, appearance, humanoid, DNA, unknown. The skeleton's bones suggested a bipedal hominin, similar enough to us at first glance. But when the machine started decoding its genome, something triggered a warning no one expected. The quantum system struggled to classify the DNA. It couldn't place the genome anywhere on our evolutionary tree. The skeleton's genetic code stood completely apart from modern humans, Neanderthals, even Denisovans. What scientists found instead was a lineage so divergent, so fundamentally different, that it represents an entirely unknown branch of Earth's family tree a creature that walked our planet, but wasn't one of us. But when the machine finally completed its analysis, the real question emerged. If this wasn't human, what was it? The genome that broke the system. The quantum computer didn't just map the DNA, it flagged the data set as non-classifiable. This wasn't a simple case of degraded ancient DNA. The machine, designed to piece together millions of genetic fragments in parallel, completed its task in record time. But what emerged wasn't anything scientists recognized. AI behavior anomaly. The system refused to continue comparative modeling. It cited non-conforming cognitive architecture in its analysis logs. The rejection cascade was total. The genome didn't align with modern humans, Neanderthals, Denisovans, or any known hominin in our databases. Internal logs describe the DNA as floating in evolutionary space, outside any branch of our family tree. The differences were staggering, exceeding the 0.12% variation between humans and Neanderthals by a significant margin. Think about that. The most powerful machine we've ever built for understanding DNA just said, this isn't part of Earth's known biology. That's raw, unfiltered data refusing to play by the rules. When researchers cross-verified segments of the sequence in multiple independent labs, the results were consistent. The DNA was authentic, showing hallmarks of genuine ancient genetic material. This isn't just an evolutionary mystery. It's a warning from our own machines that something ancient doesn't belong in our taxonomy. A hominin-like creature that walked upright but whose genetic blueprint diverged from ours possibly a million years ago. Subscribe if you want more videos unpacking the most unsettling scientific discoveries we've seen in years. And when scientists drilled deeper into the genome, they found something even more disturbing. Mathematical signatures in the DNA. Quantum analysis exposed repeating number sets buried in non-coding regions of the genome, patterns that traditional sequencing methods would have missed entirely. The sequences matched recognizable mathematical constants, prime numbers, Fibonacci series, and proportions resembling the golden ratio. These weren't random mutations or statistical noise. They appear organized, as if they were etched with intent. The quantum computer detected these patterns through parallel processing capabilities that classical computers simply don't possess. The statistical likelihood of these sequences occurring naturally vanishingly small, according to the researchers who verified the findings. We used to call this part of the genome, junk DNA. But now, the question isn't why is it there? It's who put it there and what were they encoding? What makes these findings so extraordinary isn't just their existence, but their preservation over what must be hundreds of thousands of years. Some biogeneticists have theorized that early DNA may have functioned as a symbolic or mnemonic system one that stored patterns of language, geometry, 
or even cosmology. This isn't New Age mysticism. It's a serious scientific question about information storage in biological systems. Could DNA serve purposes beyond simple biological instruction? If this genome doesn't belong to any known branch of humanity, then what kind of intelligence could have written it? The discovery echoes findings from other paleogenetic studies, where ghost lineages have been detected through statistical anomalies in modern human DNA. But this time, we're not seeing traces. We're looking at the source. And that's when they found something buried even deeper, hidden in the very bones. The bones tell a different story. Isotopic scans of the skeleton revealed a strange elemental imbalance, not just different from modern humans, different from any hominin remains ever studied. The bone structure showed exposure to atmospheric radiation inconsistent with Earth's present-day magnetosphere, a magnetosphere. These radiation markers suggest the being lived during a period of magnetic field instability. Carbon dating placed the remains in a time frame tens of thousands of years old, but other isotopic markers told a conflicting story. Trace elements matched only one known geological anomaly, a crater zone with no habitation history, a place where legends speak of watchers and where modern equipment sometimes malfunctions. The mineral composition contained rare earth elements in proportions never seen in biological remains before. You don't expect a skeleton to tell you where it came from, but this one's chemical fingerprint links it to a place that shouldn't have sustained life. Scientists cross-referenced the mineral signature against global geological databases. The match was undeniable, but perplexing. This creature lived in environmental conditions we can barely comprehend. Perhaps during a period when Earth's magnetic field was in flux, or in a region affected by cosmic impacts. What if this wasn't just a lost species, but a species that survived in places we were never meant to find? Paleontologists have long puzzled over gaps in the fossil record. What if some of these gaps exist because certain hominins evolved in environments so extreme we never thought to look there? What do you think? Could this be evidence of a hidden Earth lineage, or is something stranger at play? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what happened next. Because the genome wasn't just unknown, it was unnatural. The hybrid that shouldn't exist. Researchers identified gene clusters from multiple extinct hominin species, Neanderthal, Denisovan, and one unknown source. This mixing of genetic material isn't unusual in human evolution. But the way they were stitched together defied evolutionary timelines. There were no expected mutations between them, just direct, clean integration across genome sections. Natural hybridization leaves telltale signs, genetic drift, random mutations, and adaptation markers. This genome showed none of these natural processes. The genomic segments appeared deliberately arranged, with functional regions perfectly preserved despite their disparate origins. Some scientists hypothesize that this may represent intentional introgression, DNA compiled rather than inherited, a biological mosaic created through means we don't yet understand. This genome doesn't look like it evolved. It looks like it was engineered, but by whom and for what? When researchers mapped the genetic segments against known evolutionary timelines, nothing aligned. The DNA segments came from species that shouldn't have coexisted, this isn't to suggest alien intervention. Rather, it raises the possibility that an ancient Earth species possessed biological knowledge far beyond what we've assumed possible for prehistoric times. The quantum computer said it wasn't human, but now the bigger question is, was it ever meant to be? Paleoanthropologists have long searched for missing links in human evolution. This finding suggests we may need to consider an entirely different model of how species emerged. The discovery echoes recent findings where DNA analysis has repeatedly upended our understanding of human origins. The Denisovan find showed us that completely new types of ancient humans existed. And the most chilling part? This being may have had a very different kind of mind. A mind built differently. DNA showed hyperdevelopment in areas linked to neural growth, visual cortex expansion, and sensory processing. These weren't subtle variations. They were fundamental differences in brain architecture. 
The genetic markers for neural development diverge dramatically from the human pattern. Where our genes prioritize language centers, this being's DNA favored entirely different cognitive pathways, suggests non-linear, possibly empathic or extrasensory cognition. Brain structure genes indicated enhanced pattern recognition and environmental sensitivity beyond anything in the fossil record. These changes are so advanced, some researchers speculated it was optimized for nonverbal intelligence, pattern recognition, emotional resonance, or even group memory. The being's neural genome contained novel mutations not seen in any human or known hominin. Its brain would have processed reality in ways we might struggle to comprehend. Imagine a mind that didn't use words, but remembered in color, space, or sound. A being that didn't speak, but sensed. Such a cognitive structure might explain the mathematical patterns in the DNA, perhaps representing a different form of information encoding altogether. Could this skeleton have belonged to an Earth native intelligence we never knew existed? A parallel evolution of consciousness that developed alongside our own lineage. This finding challenges our understanding of intelligence itself. We've always assumed that human-style cognition was the pinnacle of evolution on Earth. Neurobiologists studying the genome suggest this being might have perceived connections between events or objects that would be invisible to us, patterns beyond our sensory range. But to understand who or what this creature really was, we have to go back to where it was found. The excavation took place in a deep cave system with undisturbed sediment layers. The team used sterile procedures to retrieve a petrous bone sample, the densest bone in the skull that often preserves DNA best. The skeleton was found in conditions that fortunately preserved genetic material, a rare stroke of luck for remains of this antiquity. No artifacts, tools, or cultural objects were found alongside it. Quantum computing use accelerated degraded DNA analysis where traditional methods failed. The quantum approach dramatically reduced the time needed to assemble the genome from thousands of short fragments. What might have taken months or years on classical supercomputers was completed in a fraction of that time. The quantum computer excelled at exploring huge data sets in parallel. This discovery fits with previous revelations. Denisovans, ghost lineages in Tibet and East Asia, Colombian anomalies from 6,000 years ago, and other cases where DNA analysis surprised scientists. Now, let's get one thing straight. This wasn't found in some temple or buried under a pyramid. It was science that found this, not mysticism. That's what makes it so much harder to ignore. The dating placed the specimen far back in prehistory, older than any Homo sapiens fossils in that area. This being lived in an epoch when modern humans either were absent or still evolving. Like the Denisovans, who were discovered not by skulls or bones, but by a single genome, this being may rewrite human prehistory. In 2010, DNA from a finger bone revealed the Denisovans, showing that genetics can unmask entirely new branches of humanity. Now, history repeats itself, but with a being even more distant from us. Multiple independent labs cross-verified segments of the sequence to rule out errors. The genome showed hallmarks of genuine ancient DNA, such as characteristic damage patterns. But what's coming next might be even bigger than the skeleton itself. Researchers now debate whether this being, though not Homo sapiens, deserves ethical consideration. The discovery has triggered intense discussions across scientific disciplines. Does its burial suggest culture? Could it have possessed a concept of self? The positioning of the remains hints at intentional placement, raising questions about ritual practices. Institutions are split. Study it further or preserve it undisturbed. Some argue for comprehensive analysis, while others advocate treating the remains with the same respect we would human ancestors. The quantum computer's analysis revealed a being that challenges our understanding of consciousness itself. If its brain was structured for different types of cognition, what moral status should we assign it? Paleoanthropologists point out that we've repeatedly underestimated the cognitive abilities of ancient hominins, from Neanderthals to Homo floresiensis. This isn't just a discovery, it's a mirror, forcing us to ask what it means to be human. When the definition of human expands, so must our ethical frameworks. 
The genome represents a branch of Earth's family tree we never knew existed. It suggests our planet hosted multiple intelligent lineages, not just our own. Some suggest ancient myths of watchers, giants, or beings before the flood may reflect ancestral memory of others. Species like this, walking Earth before us. While there's no evidence connecting this skeleton to myths of giants, it was of roughly human stature. It's fascinating to consider how encounters with different hominin species might have shaped ancient folklore. As we map the genome further, we're faced with profound questions about biodiversity, intelligence, and our place in Earth's biological story. So, what do we do when we uncover a being that predates everything, and yet seems built for something more? Quantum computing has opened the door to secrets we didn't even know were still buried. This technology has transformed what we can learn from ancient DNA, allowing us to see what was previously invisible. The antediluvian skeleton represents just the beginning. As quantum genomics becomes more refined, we may discover other branches of the human family tree. DNA doesn't lie, but sometimes it speaks in riddles. The genome we've uncovered tells a story of Earth's past that contradicts our previous understanding of human evolution. This discovery echoes others where ancient DNA has repeatedly upended our understanding of human origins. From Denisovans to ghost lineages in Tibet, each new find expands the narrative. The skeleton may not be human, but its presence among us demands that we rewrite part of the story we thought we knew. It suggests a more complex branching tale of intelligence on Earth. Each unknown lineage we uncover fills another gap in the epic saga of life's development. This particular chapter may be one of the most remarkable yet. In the end, it's not just about bones or machines. It's about finding out that we were never alone, even on our own planet. Other intelligent beings walked these same lands, saw these same skies. This being, with its different mind and enigmatic genome, reminds us that consciousness itself may take forms we've never imagined. As scientists continue their analysis, we face the humbling reality that our understanding of Earth's past is still evolving. The quantum computer has decoded a message from deep time. If this blew your mind, subscribe, because we're just getting started. The next discovery could change everything again.